Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Toys in My Closet. I am Hebot, your host. And today, we're going to take a look at the Lightning Collection Power Rangers Lost Galaxies Pink, Green, and Yellow Ranger. And this year has been a good year so far for the Lost Galaxy group to finally come to some type of completion or closer to completion. And as you can see here, that the Green Ranger was kind of the last one that was released early this year in the old style packaging with the window box opening and the box art that was created for them. And you can see that the two other ones, which is pink and yellow, that came out pretty much the same time, in just a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, they're in the newer style window box offering with the corner showing the actual artwork of the characters in the TV shows, which look like a pre-render of a video game, perhaps, right? But looks really good, and they look cool, posed in all of their glory with some of their accessories. So, hopefully, we're going to take them out of packaging and see what they have to offer. But before we do that, we can start by taking a look that Green Ranger in his mouth. And you see, yeah, he's there in all of his glory. Lost Galaxy Green Ranger, and the artwork is pretty nice, which continues there on the spine, as you can see. It's really elegant, and it looks really cool. It's something that is uh, not going to be forgotten for sure. And you see that it says the logo on the top Power Rangers Galaxy, and then a portrait of him, of the figure itself in the back. With legalese, nothing else to it. And on the other side of the spine, you see the same artwork again, but cut out into to some degree, right? And it looks really cool. So that's what Green Ranger's packaging look like. Now moving along to Pink Ranger, you see that it's a really nice box art. This is the figure itself in some nice poses and picture quality. Uh, pictures taking care of so, says Bob Scott. Pictures taking care of, uh, taking, taking of the picture, of the figure rather. Lost Galaxy Power in the corner with the Hasbro logo. And then here's the artwork of the character in the actual show. In the other end of the spine, you see another picture of the same character within the show with the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And in the back, you have another picture of the figure, really nice close-up, with actual shots of what the figure brings in this box. So the figure, the two extra hands, the mask, the blade that looks like two spears, or a boomerang, if you will, put together. The long sword, short sword, with a nice effect. And we even bring some individualized glasses for the portrait, which is really cool. Then you have these here, and then on the other side of the spine, it's just pink with the pink ranger's face in the end. And it says Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, pink ranger, and on the top, just the Power Ranger Lightning Collection logo going across, or the font, if you will. And finally, the yellow ranger. Last but certainly not least, looks, looking really cool. Artwork there in the corner of the person in the costume in the show, Mario's Lightning Collection, and a nice portrait of the figure, as you see, with the big cat in Lost Galaxy's Power Rangers. Again, in the spine, you see a really nice artwork of the character in the show, Lost Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Turn again, another nice shot of the figure. With this figure, showing what this figure brings, as you can see is the figure, the portrait of the figure's face, really nice. The mask, two extra hands, the cannon, small sword, special effect, and that's it. This one brings less than the other one. And then on the spine in yellow, Lost Galaxy's Yellow Ranger, the portrait of the face and the mask right in the bottom. And of course, in the top, you just see a picture of like the galaxy out there in space <laughs> not nothing else with the logo of course 
So guys, let's take these out of packaging. Let's see what they look like out of packaging, what they, how the accessories look in the articulation and the paint deco and see if they're any good and what they have to offer. So sit back and relax, enjoy a digital drink, and let's check out some Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures from Hasbro. Let's check them out. And hopefully we'll have some fun with this review and this overlook of these new figures in the line. And here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we have them out of packaging with their human actor heads and accessories played out. So we'll start off with Pink Ranger. And let's put it right in front of the camera and turn on the lights. Oof. Very, very bright. There you go. And there is her portrait, which looks really, really nice. Really good. Well done. You can see that it's pretty good. Nice hair details with a nice little wash in there. And in the same traditional Lost Galaxy, you know, tradition, you have the waves going up and down with the white and the little detail of pink around the collar with the pink shading everywhere else. The gloves with the waves of black. And for the most part, the lines look nice and clean. The belt buckle with gold and then the V-shape. And the skirt piece looking really nice. With the side holster for one of the swords in black. Continuing down with the nice blue, rosy pink into the boots with the white and then the waves on the top again. With a pretty clean look. And in the back as well. And I've been collecting in connection for a while. I don't do videos of them much. But I will tell you this. That this plastic seems to feel a little better and more quality than what we've gotten in the past. I don't know if they changed it, but it does feel a lot better on hand. So moving right along, we're going to take a look at the Green Ranger and his portrait, right? So there he is with the nice painted lips. To bring out the details, the eyes look painted really well. That brown hazel, eyebrows, the bald head looking nice and soft and smooth. The ears, the chin line, everything looks nice and detailed. Um, and then again, the collar has the nice detail there with the green, with the white collar. All the waves in black, painted really nice, look sharp. Uh, a little scuffing there, not too bad. With the white and then the green going along on the gloves, the holster in black, with the green there in this area, which for some odd reason in this video, it looks like this green is different than this green. I guess just because of the video, the type of camera. Then you see the gold with the V going down into the boots and the same thing. Part for the course with the boots, with the V shape, nicely clean. Only difference is this is a man buck versus a female buck. So, part for the course as far as the look and style for Galaxy Ranger. Or Lost Galaxy, rather. And then finally, let's take a look at Ranger, Yellow Ranger here. But a really nice portrait as well. Really nice hair detail. With the curls looking really nice. Not really a lot of wash, more of a matte finish, but still looks good. Lipsticks, eyebrows painted, yellow collar, white neckline, like a turtleneck almost. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> nice paint lines in the waves. <coughs> Female buck with the white and the breast. The yellow gloves going down. Right there with the holster in black. The uh, actual belt piece with the gold, nice and detailed there, right? And then with yellow going down onto the boots as well, nicely painted with the white, and then the black waves going up and down. So, again, it's very similar costumes, the same design. 
just a female buck in par for the course. So, really, really nice. There is the Yellow Ranger. <clears throat> now, as far as the Pink Ranger, <clears throat> those will look at her accessories first or next. So, I'll take a quick pause and come right back. Okay, guys, and we'll start off with her first accessory, which is a translucent lightning electricity effect that looks really nice and we've seen before in the past in different colors. Then we have her, her long open splayed out sword with the white on the high hilt with the wavy black lines. You even got the detail there, as you can see, looking really dope. And then the V in the back, painted really well with the gold. Some embroideries there in detail, all the way to the top with the gold, and then the gunmetal silver, which looks really good. She brings another set of hands, four in total, and this is. A fisticuff and a chop, karate chop. Which I don't know if that part of the of the gloves is painted silver. I gotta find out. Not really sure. Moving right along, we have her little glasses for her face. Really nice. This time they're removable, and you can just put them in the head portrait. Then we have her bow and arrow looking weapon, which I don't know what they're called, but forgive me for that, but that's what it reminds me of. The nice pinks painted in and the gold. Very nice detail in the two little prongs that look like they could be little cannons here. Then we have the small sword in closed form. Again, with nice detail, but all gold this time. And the same type of detail on it, on the hill. <coughs> you can see. Painted white with the waves. And then, with that design there. As you can see. Looks really, really good. And then we have her helmet, which looks really good. There you go, with the orange eyes, visor, gunmetal silver, the side, and then her mouth. And the details look really, really nice. So that is the accessory for Pink Ranger. <coughs> Moving right along, now we have... <clears throat> the Green Ranger. <clears throat> and then we start off with his translucent effect piece. And this is like a translucent red, a pink, if you will. And everything is falling out of my hand. And you see, it looks like a fire blasting. It looks really good. And then we have his other extra set of hands, which the reality is, is one. It looks like open hands to grab sign and then a fisticuff. Um, there's never there's never really a whole set other than the grappling ones, which are the ones that he has on. A small sword again. Paint it the same way again. I believe with a different symbol in the middle there. And like that in the back. You have the big sword in the open form. Again, I believe it's a different symbol right there. And then the gold, gunmetal metal silver, and then the gold on the tip as well. And then his boomerang style weapon is a little bit different as you can see. It has two little guns there. The green and gold going up around the sides of 
and he has the actual um, handle there like it's used as a gun <coughs> then we have his helmet which looks really nice detail the metal silver the eyes the silver on the top all that detail and the silver on the visor little disparity there but not too too bad right here in this area here and then the silver in the mouth it still looks really really good so <clears throat> finally we'll start off with <clears throat> yellow rangers effect and that's a bazooka blast with the blues and pinks looking really really nice then we have her second set of hands which one is the devil's horns and the other is a karate chop as you as I showed you earlier uh, and then the, the ones that she has on her where she has another horn one and one grappling one and she has a short sword here and then her symbol her, her little sword is also different looking as you can see with the gold and white hilt and then instead of her having a bowman a boomerang weapon she, like Red Ranger, she has a cannon with all the beautiful details there. With the silver and then the white hair coming across, as you can see here. With the yellow, the gold tips. The nice gold there. On the other side, then the middle is yellow with these silver outlines here in this area, which is... The handle area and then here the same thing on this side and this is like a sticker for this one the same gold effects and the cannon in the back and this does extend out pretty far to make it much larger uh, which is also uh, pretty cool and authentic to the source material of this cannon and then lastly, her helmet is really nice as well. With the nice and reds and the silvers. Little ears here on the top. Silver with the black painted really well. The visor, the silver going on around the visor and then the mouth. You can see those little details in there that are not highlighted but are still there. So very, very good details um but again par for the course they're all <coughs> very similar <coughs> in a lot of ways and a lot of reviews for stuff but all in all looks great so now next what we'll do is take a look at the articulation just because since they're all the same we'll look at all of them at one but they're all pretty much the same even though it does have female body and male body so we'll take a look at it uh, just that one because they're pretty much all the same so as far as the articulation goes the head goes left goes right doesn't go up much goes down just a tad it doesn't have but just a little bit of tilt then the arms go up that much on the shoulders 180 degrees the bicep swivel as you can see, then it has the butterfly that goes all the way back like so and forward like so. We have the double elbows, pinless as, as well. The swivel on the wrists, and then the hinge for left and right. And then these power rangers are cut with a torso cut on the top that goes forward that much backwards that much side to side and full rotation and even swivels left and right and then they have the cut here in the bottom 
in the waist with no waist swivel, but goes down that much. Hyper extends back that much, but no side to side either. And there's no waist swivel. Then, as far as the legs are concerned, you can kick up about that much and kick back about that much, which it isn't that much to begin with. You can do a Van Damme split about this much. And then you have the thigh swivel, the double on the knees, but these have pins. Then you have the boot cut, and then the back that much, forward that much, and forward pin rocker. So again, the articulation is part for the course on all three of them. So I'm only going to show you one. So now what we'll do is we'll take a look at all three of them individually with their accessories on. So here we have Yellow Ranger with all of her accessories and the cannon. And she is top happy. So what I did is I used here a Funko Pop stand that they sell 10 packs of in places like Walmart, which are pretty happy, pretty handy with these Power Rangers. And you see, I because she's top heavy with this with this cannon, so it's just to give her more stability. And you see that she has the the sword and the holster looking really, really good with a dragon sword, so to speak. You know, have the extra hands displayed here in the front. But she looks really good nonetheless. And that is how she looks like with her cannon and her, you know, uh, what you call it? Devil's finger, de devil's uh, horns, uh, you know, saying badass, kind of looking up or pointing up, you know, to give her more personality, of course. And I like the new upcoming... Uh, uh, rock and roll, right? For G.I. Joe Classified. So, there is the Yellow Ranger with all of her accessories. Now, let's take a look at Kimberly. And first, I'll show you with her portrait, her human actress form with the glasses on. You can see they fit in really snugly in there. And they are form fitted and they fit right on her really really well and she looks they look good on her with the little glass eye and plastic so that's one of the first accessories that you see on her okay guys and here we have the lost galaxy pink ranger with all of her, of her accessories on and you can see immediately with the lights on <clears throat> with the helmet on here is her boomerang style weapon and the sword with the lightning collection and she looks really cool like I said I put her head on a display here on a headstand just to give you an idea what it looks like standing in the display with the extra hands underneath so again looks very cool very effective with the uh, you know and very you know, badass, really, very ninja-esque with, uh, with all of her accessories. So, now, let's move right along on to the, you know, last, but certainly not least, Lost Galaxy Green Ranger. And here we go, guys. Here we have Lost Galaxy Green Ranger. And I do want to point out, in the camera, for some reason, I guess also because of lighting. Let me see if I turn it down a little bit. See, like, I'm not really sure why. But for some reason, it looks like a little bit tealish, like he's teal. But in, in person, I can assure you, he definitely looks green. Um, and you see how cool he looks with his boomerang weapon. But it has like a shooting effect. That comes out of it, so I guess it's like a gun as well. As well, it works like a gun, and you see that him with his helmet on looks really cool, right? And holding his sword and having the one on the side, uh, they just look really badass. These Power Rangers from Hasbro uh, Lightning Collections 
they look really, really good. I mean, um, I'm a big Ninja fan. I've always said it. And one of the reasons why I have a, a connection to Power Rangers was because, shout out to my son Darius. Um, when he was very little, he loved Power Rangers, right? Especially Mighty Morphin, which is what he grew up with. But once I got the Hasbro's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, when they first started to come out, and now they have the remastered ones that are even better, uh, you know, I was kind of hooked because I liked the execution. Uh, even though sometimes they have a lot of uh, little QC issues here and there, like missing paint or, you know, sloppy, sloppy paint and stuff like that. But not enough to make you feel like um, they're robbing you out of your money or they don't really care. These are mass produced and when things are mass produced, those type of things seem to slip by and happen or be a case by case, uh, you know, uh, situation. Even though I'm not trying to obviously damage control, I'm just being honest. As a consumer, I think for twenty dollars when they first started, which now they are twenty seven ninety nine and some sorts, and and back again to like twenty four ninety nine. I still think they're trying to deliver a pretty awesome product for the price point. You know, I mean, with the Mesco ones, they're a hundred dollars each. You know, and and they look fantastic and very realistic, but they are, you know, four times the amount, three times the amount. So, these definitely fit very well for your budget. So, now let's take a closer look at all of them uh, in a comparison, and uh, hopefully I can get the whole team in here. Okay, Lost Galaxy Ranger fans, and here it is. Here is the whole team. Red Ranger, Pink Ranger, Blue, Yellow, and Green. And you see that together they look absolutely stunning. Especially, you know, side by side. They just look really, really good. And that's the fun part about collecting uh, Power Rangers uh, and making and, you know, combining the teams together. I think that that's what makes it really unique and appealing. Because you know they're always going to be a type of team that are going to be, uh, you know, that you're going to have to build once they release uh, one of the TV show members. Now, I am not a, and you know, I've never said I was, but like I said, well, I said why I have my attachment with Power Rangers. Um, but I'm not a, a, you know, a proponent fan of the show. I never really watched it like that. Um, because I found it to be cheesy to a certain extent, even though the designs are cool. But I believe for this team as well, I believe that the character here, Magna Carta, right? I believe he also would join them from time to time to help them out. And he's kind of like a space pirate. Cool looking figure. Uh, picked it up a very long time ago. He was one of the first. Power Rangers uh, from the Lightning Collection to come out. Um, and so I didn't know he was part of, you know, Lost Galaxy until, you know, I started combining this team together. So for all you guys who are true Power Ranger fans of the show and know all the teams, for example, please... Reach out in the comments and let me know if I'm right or if I'm dead wrong. Because if I'm dead wrong, my intention is not to disrespect, obviously, the property uh, in any way, shape, or form. These are figures. I'm just trying to review them as for what they are because they're really, really cool looking. Um, and the team looks really great together, obviously. Uh, but uh, the Magna Carta, I believe, would come in from time to time and help them. Kind of like the White Ranger, but in this... Uh, series in particular he probably was like you know uh, a bandit or a pirate and, you know he has a blaster and all that type of stuff so I don't know I guess because it's in space they try to do something different which is cool either way nonetheless so guys there you have all the group together so now let's take a quick pause and come to the end of review and, you know, give me my final thoughts on these three uh, team members that actually came out all back-to-back -back this year, 
since January to fill up this team real fast. Uh, so I'll see you guys. And here we are, guys, at the end of the road. Here are the Power Rangers a Lightning Collection a Lost Galaxies. Green, Pink, and Yellow Ranger. All released in 2023. So, a team is finished. And now, with the team finished, we can move forward to try to finish other teams, right? As Lightning Collection fans. And Power Ranger fans, of course. Uh, these three figures complement themselves very well. It's nice to see two females back to back as well. And <coughs> the one of the most important characters uh, or rangers, the Green Ranger, um, with really nice head portraits, really nice, uh, you know, uh, quality to the plastic. Uh, because it's gotten much, much better, in my honest opinion. Um, and obviously, they look really good in, in the shows. And going to have a really good presence because of the colors. They pop really well. Um, and that's what's so uh, really invigorating, I think, and exciting. Uh, when you get a team together uh, in the Power Rangers line. Um, they just look really nice. Uh, the colors always pop. Um and complement each other very well. So, they are worth getting. Uh, you can probably check your local Walmarts. They're starting to help hit the local Walmarts. I've seen them there. Um, I don't know about the Green Ranger because he came out back in January. But I did see him multiple times in Targets. Uh, maybe in Target.com or in the aftermarket. I'm pretty sure you could probably pick him up. Uh, for a good price, or maybe even cheaper than what he was originally. Uh, because a lot of people are like cherry pickers when it comes to the Power Rangers Lightning Collection uh, line. They pick and choose certain ones, so some of them end up being, you know, kind of peg warmers, but I don't know really the analytics and the data, but that's what it seems like. Either or, they're not really hard to get. And um, again, uh, you know, I think they're worth it with what they come with and for the price point. So, I hope you liked the review and my thoughts. Please leave a like in the video by thumbing up, a dislike by thumbing down. Share this video with someone you think might also like it because it helps the channel and helps the algorithm. As always, if you guys want to follow me or see what I'm up to in any of the social media outlets, you can do so down in the description below. I have all the information. And as always, like I tell you guys, I am very grateful for those of you that continue to give me support. Because without you, my channel would not be sustained. If you're new to the channel, please, if you had a good time and like what I did and, you know, would like to come back, I would urge you to please subscribe, thumbs up, put on the alert for the bell and you'll see everything I put up when I do it um, and if you did like what I did and did join the channel I really am grateful and humble because I know you didn't have to but just remember I consider you now part of the family if you guys ever want to donate anything to the channel so that I can highlight so that I can do a review just like this or anything that you might think would be cool for me to do just hit me up on those DMs or any of those DMs on social media and we'll work out the particulars. Now one last thing, if you want a guy if you guys would like to help out my help out my channel directly, just because you like what I do, or because you really appreciate what I'm trying to do, uh, and it's from the kindness of your heart, of course, it's not mandatory. There is some things that you can do to help me, and that is with my PayPal and Patreon information down below as well. So you have it, guys. There is my reviews and thoughts on the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Lost Galaxy, Green, Herb, I mean Green, Pink, and Yellow Ranger. Uh, I had fun doing it. I hope I see you in the next time in another episode of Toys in My Closet. I'm your host, saying goodbye. <laughs>